Hey, my name is Ben. Thanks for stopping by. Today we're running a cement mixer. I've been running it for quite a while. You can see over here, uh, I've got some cement piers that I'm pouring for my deck. So click right at the top right here if you want to see up more about that project. But I just wanted to do a quick video on just kind of a few tips for how to run a cement mixer like this. So come around the other side here and I'll show you a couple just basic things with maintenance on it. Uh, this one obviously is super old, so if you want this model, I'm sorry, um, but you can send me an offer, comment down below if uh, you want to buy this one. Uh, come look at these gears right here. So uh, this one's gear driven. I just want to make sure that they're greased properly. You can see right here, there's a grease zerk. There's a latch mechanism, and I'm sure this varies per model, but this how this one is held here. So when that one is, it's latched right there, it's in the mixing position. You can see that we've got a little bit of leftover cement that's clumped up in the edges. So what we're going to do is just spray that down before we add our new bags. So, like this. so once you kind of get it rinsed out, you'll see down in here that we have a little bit of water down in this corner. Now, if this is the first couple batches that you're doing, you might want to measure it, but you'll kind of get the hang of it as, it, as time goes on. These are just 60 pound bags. Uh, they recommend using four pints of water per each 60 pound bag, but you can use more in order to make it more workable depending on the application. But they say do not exceed a total of volume of seven pints. Now pints, just so you're aware, uh, four pints is equal to a half a gallon, two pints in a quart. So eight pints total in a gallon. So we're gonna leave that water down in there and uh, now we're ready to go ahead and add our bags of cement. With this particular mixer, two bags is about perfect. We've got 60 pound bags that we're working with. And what I like to do is take my utility knife. This is the best utility knife ever, link in the description. And cut a slit down the middle of it. Like so, it kind of dulls your blade a little bit, but <laughs> oh well. And then take the bag. Dump it in like so. Try not to breathe too much cement dust. <clears throat> and always be very mindful of any belts that are exposed. I'm not sure if this one is OSHA approved, but it probably is. OSHA is common sense. So you can see that there's water down here in the back still. Uh, but <clears throat> so the cement won't immediately stick to the bottom, which is what you want to prevent. So we're going to go ahead and fire it up now. For this particular model, once you plug it in, it doesn't start automatically. You have to start it manually. Just like that. Now, if you want to have a garden hose, it's ready to go. And I can just kind of... I usually give it a minute here, so I'm just going to spray along the top edge, straight down into the back. And I'll just keep adding incrementally. You want to keep adding water little by little, paying close attention to the consistency. You'll want the cement to be as thick as possible while still being easy to work with. The cement gets significantly weaker if you add too much water, so the consistency should be about that of thick oatmeal. Sorry, GoPro. <laughs> so that consistency is about what I want. Let's see how it's uh, well mixed. Another batch mixed. So I'll show you one more thing here. I'll flip this back up and we'll look inside and see how much stuck in there. Cause you're always gonna have a little bit that will stick in the mixer that doesn't wanna come out very easily. So you can see we have a few chunks in those corners where the paddles are. So you, on the next batch that will get thoroughly mixed in. 
because you can basically spray those little bits loose. So at the beginning of every batch, all of the cement has been removed from the outside. You do not want to let clumps stay in there all day long while you're mixing new batches. You want to make sure you get it all off the inside edges of it. When we're all done, we will spray this thing out and make sure we get as much of the cement off as we possibly can. And then we're going to take a little bit of diesel fuel, spray that on the inside surface of the mixer. That's going to help prevent it from rusting and also prevent cement from sticking to it quite as easily. But just a really thin coat is all you need, not much at all. If you end up with a batch that is too wet while you're mixing it, you can just tell that it's too sloppy. You can see how I have this bag open here. That happened on my last batch. I, I got overconfident and added too much uh, water all at once. So you just take a little scoop of your uh, dry cement mix and just shovel it into the, the batch and you can even it out to the correct consistency really easily that way. It just takes a little bit of practice you'll get the hang of it. So if you found this video to be helpful, hit that thumbs up button and subscribe down below for more videos like this one. Today's sponsor is House Call Pro. Head on over to housecallpro.com slash Ben where you can check out a free demo of their app. And if you use my link at the top of the description, you get your first month for only $19. Really appreciate them supporting the channel. Helps me make more videos just like this one for you guys. Check them out below. There it is. 21 bags of concrete roughly.